hi everyone welcome back to my channel am i excited to show you my latest invention oh wow look at all these floaty butterflies there uh, some of them are on acetate strips obviously to give it all that dimension but the main mechanism in the middle and all where the strips go the placement of how i've done mine i'm going to show you how to do it so you can make your own just please mention me and put my link to my video in there because I have invented this I absolutely love it look at them so as you know my channel is all about the know-how so I'm going to show you how to make the mechanism and where to put the butterflies within the card okay so the other thing that I've got for you is a free download and I will just get that for you. You can go to my Kofi shop. I'll put the link in the description. And these are basically the butterflies that I've used. I've drawn them, so they're mine. I'm going to give them to you for free. Just go to Kofi shop and put 0, .00 pounds, and they're yours to have. You can colour. I'll just quickly show you actually, because if you get oh, this is the wrong colour, but hey ho. Um, you can just colour right over the top like this because it's inkjet printer that I've got. So you can colour all over that with your pro markers. You can do your Tim Holtz distress inks, anything else you've got, you know, anything that's going to take to your um, papers, card stocks. Also, don't forget you can put printed paper in the printer and then print the butterflies on top of them. So you get that for free. So if you've got the butterflies to cut out and make, um, you can use scan and cut things like that if you've got it to then scan it and cut it out but yes how amazing is it i can't stop opening it i want someone to give it to me but it's mine so i'll keep it forever um okay so let's get started and i'll show you how now because my channel is all about the know-how i'm going to be showing you in colored card now please note don't use colored card all right use white on white on white on white on white so that the mechanism is less obvious okay so you can't really see i'm just going to score this card in half because i haven't so this is just going to be the card base now if you're using all the same colors this is just an a4 and you can cut it down you can get seven by five and six by six out of these it's placement of the center mechanism so it's really important that you stay tuned and watch that so that's our card base so that's going to be in pink so you can see where i'm placing the mechanism the other thing you need is a square piece of card i'm just going to do the scores and then we'll move the scoreboard out of the way this is six by two and a half we're going to score it at one and a half sun's out fun's out three and four and a half so basically in half and then those two and a half so it's six inches it's scored at one and a half three four and a half then you're going to flip it around long ways and just score half an inch okay so we've got that it will it will all become more clear in a minute so i just want to get that one out of the way the only other thing i've got to score and you don't have to you can fold it but i'm going to score it because it's quite important that it lays flat so this is six and a half inches so it's really important that i'll get this in the middle so it's going to go one and a half and one and a half and then the middle of that is three and a quarter okay so what we've got is that it's going to come up like that and come up like that so we've got that mechanism we're going to need one of these w's but this center section also needs a score so while it's folded in half just line it up and do a quarter of an inch the other alternative to that is that you can obviously lay it down and then score it at your one and a half and then again at can't see three three and a quarter three and a half and then five okay so two ways of doing that so that's your center mechanism for the top butterfly all right so i think i don't need that anymore so we can move that out of the way and then what i'm going to do is do this mechanism with you so let's zoom in a bit just bear with it's a bit better let the wobble stop so we've got this half inch score down there i want you to just fold that back like that and then we've got four more so one's going to come forward like this just put the score line in that and then like this so just folding the outsides in to me in the middle you can change it all in a minute anyway if you fold it in half you can do two cuts in one save time why not 
Let me fucking find some scissors. Oh my word. Giant scissors coming in. <laughs> oh my word. Okay, so just cut to the first score line. So basically, you're just cutting the middle out. Now, at the same time, you can angle that cut because these are your tabs. So you're making two tabs on the end, so it looks like that. Okay, so that's basically what you've done is cut the middle out. You can obviously cut up, cut across, cut down, then do your tabs. But quicker to do it all like that, wasn't it, really? So these ones are going to go to the back. They're supposed to going to glue into your card, which is why you want white cards so you don't see it. But I did cover mine with butterflies as well. So that is the centre mechanism. Start off. There's still a bit more to do yet. So actually i'm going to get the scoreboard because i want to make some dents in here you can mark it but i'm just going to put dents in and i want to do dents halfway between all of these so if you fold it in half like this you've got one and a half and half of one and a half is three quarters so i'm going to really mark that at the edge turn it over and do the same i can see it's gone all the way through all of them Saves me going along working out all the scores. That's halfway. I just want to know we're halfway. You can measure it with a ruler, put a little pencil mark, rub it out, blah, blah, blah. But I find it's easier to just do that. So now the next thing that I want you to do is fold one end in. Okay, so you've got, you're just working with one score line. And then take the outside edge. This is where your mark is. So you want to be coming down and you want to come down straight. So it goes like that and then you're gonna put a crease line in it then you're gonna open that back up so you can see you've got marks in there it's card marks a bit but um that's okay fold it in half again and i'm going to do it this way because i can see where that one is because you don't want to overlap it so get it to come straight down again so you're making like these little triangles in the top of your card okay triangle number two made fold it in half and again, that's your half point. So pull it down halfway, like that. As you can see, you've got a V, a V, and another V there, which you'll see better in a minute. And finally, this, the end ones come in as well. Now I'm gonna sort them out in a minute, which way they go, because it will matter. And then that one comes down like that. So we've got all this like triangular shapes going across the top. So this one is going to be the one that comes forward in your card and then by well, this point. So the centre point comes forward and so do the edges. Okay, so the centre and the edges are going to be forward and that's going to be your bits that stick into the card. So what you're going to do is push these ones to the back. So they're going to go to the back like that. The centre one is going to come backwards as well, so we can push that one back. So the outside edges, so all the things that are forward, the triangles go backward, and all the things that are at the back, the triangles come forward. See, I'm making dents like that. Okay, so we've got one going back, one forward, one back, one forward, one back. And then we'll just... Fold it all up, concertina it all up like that, and burnish it. Burnish just means score it, rub it down like that. Turn it over, do the other side. So they're all your little bits that you're going to work off for adding your butterflies and your your tabs. Okay, so you can see it's a concertina effect. Concertina made up a new word again. Good at that. Very good at that. But I like to work with it not in the card the reason being i can pick it up get around it snip things if they're wrong once it's in the card you've got to work all around the card and it becomes quite difficult i think personally so what we'll do is we'll do it my way <laughs> do you like that? <laughs> sorry i cracked myself up <laughs> so what you need are some strips that are two inches and one and a half inches long okay so i've got different colors so you can see this is why i've done colors so you can see if it was all acetate you wouldn't see a thing would you transparent so what we're going to do is one and a half by they're all quarter of an inch by the way so i'll cut long strips quarter of an inch 
and then I just cut them down. So the blue ones are all two inches long and the yellow ones are one and a half inches long. So we're going to start on the outside edges and we're go I'm going to make it symmetrical because I just find that it's easier to do it symmetrically. So it doesn't, I'm going to use wet glue as well. Obviously you'd use red liner tape, things like that. So this is just showing you how I did it. So what we're going to do is put some glue on the bottom and the other thing is I've got a little tip for you if you're using acetate I've given you this tip before but if you've only just found me you won't know about it if I can find what I did with it here we go if you're using acetate hopefully you can see it put it over there and you can so put red line of tape this is two inches thick so these are these pieces or it might be one and a half it's one and a half so these are these pieces and they've already been pre-taped so you put tape on one side at one end tape on one side at the other end so then when you cut your acetate you haven't got to put tiny little pieces each end they're ready to go so you've got your tape already on there ready to go a little tip for you good like that aren't i so with these ones these outside edge ones what we're going to do is the um this one is going to go this way so to speak so you've all you sort of like nearly always work this is a 90 degree and 45 is halfway got glue on me it looks awful never mind it's not a fashion show is it so put it sort of like at an angle going off that way yeah then we're going to use a two inch one and we're going to put the two inch one going that way so when it's open it's sort of like they're kind of square aren't they square on could say that put them square on when they're folded back they're obviously you can see you've already got some things going on here so if i didn't have all them in the way it'd probably be easier to see let's move them out of the way nothing wants to move off of anything does it so we've got those two on the end like that so there you go you can make an owl even easier description make an owl on the edge it's probably a little bit over exaggerated i'd probably tilt them a bit more to be honest i don't think you need it to be that much so i digress we're going to put the same on the other end so i'm going to put in the center bit of that one and this side bit of glue bit of glue bit of glue pop that one on there like that and then the yellow one similar it doesn't matter because the butterflies you're going to do all your butterflies randomly so they're not all facing the same way and things like that so there you go with that one so you've got those two going on okay so that's the first two done now the yellow ones again i want to put on these back pieces now these back pieces i might yeah but i might do them at the end actually because the reason i say that no nah, let's do them now it doesn't matter so <laughs> ignore what i just said my husband does all the time rude so we're going to go on the back one here so this one's facing forward so you you are going to be working off of this and you're going to come halfway off that triangle like that and you're only going on one side don't glue it together you don't want the glue to hit this side you only want it to be glued on that side so there's one there and so we'll do the same on the other side And one there. So we've got those two in. So that's those. Now you can add all your butterflies and everything to the stems, if you like, sticks, whatever you want to call them. You can see it's starting to get some dimension in there. So we've got those two on and now we're going to do two inch ones. And we're going to do them off of this centre. Now a lot comes off of this centre, okay, just so as you know, there is going to be a lot happening on here. So if you want to put it nearer to the back than you can but quite a lot of the um extensions and things do come off of this now i will tell you that i obviously spent a long time designing this and a couple of times i put things on these coming forward i am going to but i'm only going to put two and because if you put too many they start clashing with it with each other when you close it and then they get interlocked and they get messed up so i'm doing this for a reason because i've done it several ways and this is by far the most effective result and that's why i've got different size strips as well it does make a difference also the height of them makes a difference if you want to put it in a smaller card you're going to have to make shorter ones all right so that's just something to bear in mind 
and then this one's going to go down there so we're doing small again so we've done two blue at the back two small at the bottom now that is all of the stems that we're going to use there are going to be butterflies placed elsewhere but that is all the i'm calling them stems all right we're just going to go with stems because they could be flowers they don't have to be butterflies so we're going to pop that down there i've oh, just bent that one so the other thing you should do first we'll do it when it's in the card now is if you're going to add any detail to this add it first because now you're going to bend your stems when you lay it down you could be really careful pull it all up lay it down like this get it all nice in place so what we're going to do is add some butterflies now i've got loads and loads of butterflies done okay some are colored some i've printed some's on colored paper blah 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 colored them in so we just use a whole array of different ones on this because it's a completely multicolored event so there are ones that go on the end and there I, I did use big ones but i'm actually going to put them on at the end and the reason is when i kept trying to close it etc doing the um trials i did i was bending the butterflies so those ones would be the bet weight until the card is in i don't think i got my teeth in right my word it's one of them days it was a full moon the other day it's gone now i can't even use that excuse so put a couple of butterflies on there and like I say we're gonna have we're gonna have them hanging off the edge though. Okay? So they're gonna go hanging off the edge at the end. So there's two butterflies, that's just decorating. Just gives more butterfly appeal when you open the card. You see more butterflies. And that's what we want. So now what we're gonna do as well is we're gonna put a butterfly, a large one, on here. Okay? Now if this is too tall, you can cut it down if you want. It depends on what size card you want it to go in. How close you want them all together so just putting a bit of glue on that strip there this is going to be a large butterfly so a large butterfly on there and obviously you can do all different shapes you know angles the butterfly can go all, all different angles that's the one so like for instance with this one we'll have that one angling out like this so we'll go i should have put the glue on the tab practice what you preach <laughs> put the glue on the tab and then you've done nothing i'm just trying to fold that down so that it doesn't fall over and then we're going to pop some bigger ones on these two as well so again they can be going whichever way you want them to am i using all the same butterflies let's use some different ones let's use the yellow one so again on the tab sarah already forgotten got a yellow one on there blue one on here i'm doing them the same should be angling and making them. but you know what i mean you can make them dance across the page it would just angle them out and then again this one down the back got to put one on there we'll have that one going that way shall we don't know why i'm asking you because you're well, you might be answering me, but I can't hear you. <laughs> Speak up! Put that one on there, like that. So then you can um, put one on there, and then we've done it all, all the back ones, so to speak. I'm done green. This is coloured in with alcohol markers, this one. Yeah, I coloured the back as well. So, that one can go on there, like so. And then you can close it up and make sure that nothing's clashing. That's why I like to do it not on the card. Because if anything is clashing, now you can take them off. What I mean by clashing is, this mechanism is going to close in the card. So it's going to fold up. Now, if you were opening it and the butterfly was catching on another one, it would stop the mechanism from opening and they'd all be like, you know, tangled up inside. So that's why I've spent a lot of time on getting this right for you. Now... We're going to put a little one on the ends of these. So any little ones you got. And obviously you can use stamps, die cuts, you know, anything that you've got. Punches. You could do it all sorts of ways. We'll have that one flying that way. And then we'll put, I think we need a bit of brightness over on the other side. I can't get what I want. that do. And then we'll do on this strip 
we'll put one going like that. Same way, look. Try and move it. There you go. Also, the glue's drying, so you're not getting glue on your car. And you know when you do the pretend glue opening and closing, you're not going to get glue on your base car, which is always good. So we've got those going on like that, and they can obviously be turned right upside down. Should we do it? Let's do it so it looks a bit different. So you can have them go in all different directions. And when you've made one or two of these, you will realise, you know, what you're doing. So just try it again. Make sure everything's okay. Nothing's catching. We're all good. Shouldn't do because of the way I designed it. So hopefully we're good. It's only when I start putting on the extension ones. Now, before I do these two down here, remember I said to you about that long strip? This bit here. So this folds in. So you've got that little bit folding in and then these two come up like that. So you've got that shape. You're going to have that shape. You don't glue that bit together. Okay. You just put that together like that. So you've got a letter M in the middle and it's like a W with an M inside. <laughs> oh dear. What's wrong with me? I'm just excited because I'm so, I just can't believe I made it. <laughs> and then what you do is this V in the middle. This is why I don't like it. In, I like it not in the card because then I can do this. I can pop that in there and close it shut. So I've put glue on both edges and now we've got that like magic in the middle. So that's going to take two more butterflies here and one right in the centre. So I'm going to do the bottom butterflies first. And the other thing actually to do is you see these two here. Pop butterflies in there now. So you, what you're going to do for those is you're going to get a butterfly. Fold it completely in half. And squash it in half. Because you, again it's going to be one of those that you're going to squash into that V. So put some glue on each side. Pop it into the V and they can be going whichever way you want. It's up on coming this way. And then close that V. So I'm going to squash that V. There. So I'm squashing the V. And when I open it, butterfly is in there glued in. So you, again, you, you're hiding your mechanisms all the time, you see. So let's put a purple I think let's go with the purple so fold a purple in half glue on both sides like that and that one goes in wherever you want but remember you don't want it to clash so it's probably better going off to the back because there's a lot going around here you see how things can start to clash so by it by its tall wings being that side, it's much better than it being at the front. Okay, so we oh, I did two similar there. Never mind. This one's not really going to get used, is it? Well, I don't know. Colourful strips wouldn't matter. You could use pattern paper and that would throw everybody's mind off as well, wouldn't it? So we've used big ones again because I always, I always had the little ones on at the end, so to speak. We've only really used the little ones so far here and here and then decorating. So again, we're going to pop some butterflies down here and I think we'll have like a, I don't know, which way do you want to go, mate? You tell me. Feel free to talk to your paper butterflies if it helps you. <laughs> it obviously helps me. I'm going to put that one that way, float that way. Uh, pink, I think. Big pink. Big pink one. Big pink one. Which way should we put that? Ooh. Maybe that can go that way. I've got to check that it doesn't interfere too much with anything. It's very wet. I've got glue all over my fingers. It's stuck to my finger. So let's just see. Do the trial. Everything's looking all right to me. Pop them on. And then we've got two here. So we can put more butterflies down there. We'll do one of these to balance because I've got one of them on the other side. Just pop that one. We'll have that going the right way. These might clash, actually. Might have to move that pink one over. Ooh, come back! Don't float off yet. You're not finished. I'll have that one going like that. Just see if that does. Oh, that'd be fine. It's 
because it's underneath, isn't it? She says, and then over here, I think we need pinkish. Pinkish. And we'll have that one going, I don't know. Might have it going similar way, actually. Like that. So we've got all, you can see, it's really building up. We're getting a lot of butterflies on there and we're not even done. So the other one is, and also when you fold these up, it does change where they fall. So you can see you've got that mechanism going on. In the middle, there's a lot going on with that um, centre V fold. These might be too tall. You see how, when you put it, well, I'll show you that in later. It's pointless doing that. So... What you've got here is that centre butterfly. So we want a nice one to go in there. I think we can go back to purple. Oh, we could do one of these multis. Fold that in half. And then you've only got a quarter of an inch, remember? Because you made that little M in the W. And we're going to pop that one in there and just give that a good old squash. Got glue everywhere. And then that will open up, look at the glue everywhere, <laughs> like so. So you've got one, another tall one floating if you like. So they're like um, really coming on now. Now over here, on these two flaps, you also put butterflies. So that covers up these straps that have been going on. I like to put them so they're going out, not going out, out. That's such an English thing. It's a comedian that says it in England. So you don't want these particularly to be coming over this crease because that could interfere with that crease closing. Do you see what I mean? You can prevent that V at the back from closing. So keep it above the crease. And then you could chop these off or you can cover it over with another white bit of paper. We're not going to do that now because of time. I don't want the video to be too long. So I'm just going to pop that on there, see where it goes. And you can also put some glue on the straps. I was calling them stems earlier. Straps is a much better word, isn't it? I knew what I meant. And then that will give that more sturdiness as well. So we're going to pop one there. And then let's go with, oh, I don't know. There's too many butterflies. How can you choose? <laughs> I made this for myself, this rod in my back. I created it from me. So I'm just looking to see where the glue goes on there. And then make sure you're not over that crease. Look, missed the glue completely. Doesn't matter about these touching. In fact, if they're going to touch, glue them because it's just giving it more stir sturdiness. Yeah. Making it more sturdy, giving it more sturdiness. Okay, so you can see we've got most of our mechanisms now with the ones in the middle. Um, here you can put another butterfly down in the middle there. Or you can just sort of like put, um, you could fold it in half actually. You could fold another one in half, I think I did on the last one actually. And just pop it in there, but that is a bit tight. So I'd be inclined to cut it in half. Oh, ouch, That's what I mean is cut the butterfly wings off like this oh you might not be able to see sorry i forgot the camera was zoomed in oh i need some smaller scissors <laughs> okay so you can put a wing in there i don't think i'm going to do it because it's going to take it's going to be a bit fiddly to glue oh no we'll glue it and then the the centerpiece is going to have to go down in the middle there you could glue that in before you put the blue strip in that would have been a good idea so there's another one Another movement for you, another alteration. So what I mean is, put that one in there. Take, I need the glue to take on this. Go, go, go. And put some glue on this side. And I'm only doing it at the bottom because you're only working on those straps like that. That's just covering up. We're just doing this cover up mechanisms you can see how much better that is already now this will go down further back it will float away a bit more butterfly float away and then this one which is the, i haven't got my tweezers will go i'm not going to do it am i no i forgot my tweezers i can't see them oh 
could that be yes i have got some tweezers because i'll never be able to do that with my fingers so i'm just going to hold his head put a bit of glue you'd obviously trim it because it's really bad and then just pop him back where he belongs in his body <laughs> oh no my wing fell off there you go you can see what i'm trying to do it's not dry that clear has got way too much glue on there like that so that one goes here oh, i'm not going to faff around because it's just going to take it's probably going to go to the side when i fold it now so this it looks like it's in the way but it folds in half see that one with the m and the w you can see everything's still all right when you open it is anything getting tangled no it's not so this when it's been opened a couple of times will be a lot better now what you'll notice is you can see a lot of straps around um so you, what you can do now is use your little butterflies go back in with some little butterflies make being careful about where you're placing them so i'm just going to put some glue on a wing there oh, i've got pink on pink so you can just never mind we'll just go pink on pink pop one in it's got a bit of red line on it as well into there to cover up that strap yeah so like that and then they're all going the same way look at that they're all just flying the same way you can also do things like add as long as they're not going to interfere with the other butterflies you can add butterflies to the backs of wings so you can put glue on the front of a wing and then glue that so that's floating off behind that blue one like that you see what I mean? Now the only other thing you've got to remember is when you close it, is that getting too wide? And it probably is a little bit. So we'll push it down. Actually, I might swivel it all the way around. Sweet, still it's actually flying. Might have made it worse. <laughs> Let's go like that. So you can see you've got another butterfly off the back of that. That's made it worse. <laughs> what my like? We won't even do it. But we will put it what, down here because it's much better. You can go over there with your yellow friend. There, so you can see there. That's not going to affect it. It's going to be all right. Can you see they're getting... So you wouldn't put one on the other side because when they open, it would prevent the blue one's butterfly from opening. There's a lot of pink now. I'm going to remove it. It's really bugging me. I know I shouldn't because of time. But, oh, other end. I've got, to, I've got to change it. So we're going to go like that. Swing it out of it. There. So we want it to go underneath the blue so that when it closes, everything's okay. And as long as it closes and opens, you've got a bit of time with wet glue to change your mind. And obviously on here, we can add more butterflies out here cover up these straps okay we'll leave it at that because i don't want to um take too long and i'm aware that we need to put it into the card so that's how you get your mechanism that's how you get your butterflies in etc let's just move this out of the way <clears throat> and then i've got a different color card so you can see what i'm doing now it's really important when you do this that this front v is on that crease so you've got your crease in your card there that V has to be on that crease. Now you'll want it to be kind of that V to be nearer the bottom, center. Hopefully you can see that. <clears throat> because, and then you can change while the V stays there, how you when you when it's fully opened, where you want those butterflies to be. So you can pull it in like this, you can pull it out, you can swivel these two edges as much as you want but not right around the back i wouldn't so just make sure that that's on there put it where you like it where you think it looks nicest then hold the tab that's here okay i'm going to hold it and try and show you so that back tab there just hold on tight to it and fold that up keep it holding i oh, know it's over your finger and then let go and let it drop down right now that's just that middle one then fold this tab up make sure it's up all right put some glue onto that tab 
and the other thing to realize is that butterfly is over the edge so we're gonna have to pull that down okay and that you can see it's really close to the edge and that's all about the height of your tabs and with time you'll learn not to do them I mean I've done two inches and I'd say that's the longest you'd want to go with your straps so close your card and hold that in place for a second two glue takes open it up get excited turn it over make sure this flap is up as well excited <laughs> it is exciting because it's so wow smear that down make it dry quicker close the card on it always close the card two tabs hopefully it's dry and then we will see the ta-da ta-da so there we go and our front of our card and when we open it up ta-da oh the other thing is you need to fold these back i forgot to say that so get those folded back and forth a little bit okay just so you know now you can see you've got all that gorgeousness going on with acetate strips it makes it even more magical and the other thing i was saying to you about is to add two more butterflies let's just grab another two butterflies come on sarah quick 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 not pink again I'm not going to pink two big butterflies and we're just going to pop those down here because it gives it even more even more but more butterflies are better you can never have too many and that one there it's because it's on really thin paper so just pop that in the middle we can have it angled but obviously it can't touch the card just go halfway don't go any more than sticking out halfway and you'll see how much difference this makes to the card and there's another step that gives it even more gives you even more butterflies so we've got those two on there now yeah it's closing up nicely see we've got those down there so it's just giving more butterflies and the other place to add them always think about where the mechanism's going this see that white is actually lifting out i hope you can see that that centerpiece is a hole in the bottom so no but any butterflies here won't be affected by it so you can go ahead and grab yourself some more little butterflies keep picking up pink sorry i've gone over it and you could just place them wherever they look good on the bottom so you've got even more even more and they can go anywhere you want but not on the crease now i did put one on the crease in the other card and i wish i hadn't as soon as i did it but it was too late so they're there like that so we've got those and then on the back where you've got your tabs to cover up the tabs obviously if you're doing white on white they're not going to be as obvious bear that in mind so put glue all over the back of your butterfly and just pop that over the top there it also when you open the card you will see more butterflies and they definitely need to have a couple more on the straps there because you can see the straps quite a lot i know because i've used colored card it stands out even more but if that that's what i'm saying if the card blank was white the mechanism is white the straps are white can you see now you've got even more even more butterflies so all those ones down the bottom on the base it just all gives added dimension on the back even so you've got your lovely butterfly card and there you go i hope you enjoy making this don't forget to give me a like a share and please tag me and um add my video to your creations thanks for watching see you again soon bye